So let's add the candy repository interface and I'll add it to the model. So it's gonna be just a class for now and I'll call it I candy repository. And I start the name with I because it indicates that it's an interface. Now in order to make it an interface, we need to replace the word or keyword class with interface. So what method do we need in our interface? Well, we want to get all candies. And then we also want to get all the candy that is on sale. And finally, we need a method that will get a single candy based on the candy ID passed into the URL. So the first method is going to be a list of all candy. So it's going to be I enumerable of type candy and I'll call it get all candy. And rather than a method, I can make it a property because this is just simply going to get all the candy. So we don't need to set anything here. The next one will return all the candy that's on sale. So once again, it's going to be I enumerable of type candy. And I'll call this one get candy on sale. And once again, it simply gets all the candy, so it can be a property with get. And the last one is a method that will get us the candy based on an ID. So this one will return the candy and I'll call it get candy by ID. And of course, we need to pass in the ID of the candy we want to get. So it's going to be an integer as an argument and I'll call it candy ID. So this is the interface for the candy and in the models I'm going to add another interface and this one's going to be for the categories. So it's going to be I category repository. And once again, we need to change this class into an interface. And the only thing we want to get here is all the categories. So we will return I enumerable of type category and I'll call this get all categories and I'll make it a property with just a get. So these are our interfaces and now we need to create repositories that will implement these methods and properties.